रहमान रहीम एंड असल स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल वुड बी फाइन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू वर्क बुक साइंस ऑफ ग्रेड फाइव ओके स्टूडेंट्स काइंडली ओपन द बुक इन द लास्ट लेक्चर स्टूडेंट्स वी टॉक अबाउट आर होल ऑफ द चैप्टर टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट आर एक्सरसाइज ओके स्टूडेंट्स ओपन पेज नंबर फर्स्ट ऑफ योर वर्क बुक ओके फर्स्ट वी हैव कुरान एंड साइंस Sajda has positive effects on brains, lungs, muscles, various joints and backbone. Okay, that's very obvious, students. That it has a positive effect. How we have talked about our uh, different uh, nerve systems, and so that they are discussing that why Quran is directly related with science. Okay, this is the only position in which brain or head becomes lower than the heart, resulting in gushing of blood towards the brain providing good oxygen supply and nutrients to the brain see when you do sajda or perform sajda that is the best time when your blood is circulation okay gushing means it's circulation okay that's the very good moment of your blood circulation okay towards the brain and you know very well that it's require good supply or good efficient amount of oxygen and nutrients so that's why your brain can work properly okay also note that in all other positions means except the such the except when we are lying on the bed or something like that brain is above the heart which has to work against gravity means you are uh, working against the gravity so that it sends blood to the brain okay remember that blockage of the blood flow to the brain results in tiredness lack of clarity and stroke and you also know these are some of the terminology tiredness means you feel lethargic you like indolent your fatigue okay that a lack of clarity means your your vision is not clear to you and stroke stroke is something students that's a sudden attack on you okay or this, that can be soft and that can be of a minute you can call it seizure attack okay so that is a stroke okay and that stroke okay in urdu you can also say that is your you can say chhatka type uh, you can say that stroke or uh, yeah ye uh, it also call you can call it that it's a you can say it's a major attack on your body but students kindly remember that when you have fits that is your condition of stroke okay when you have fits in your body okay so and that is directly see we are talking about the blood circulation so students always remember that these are just related with your blood flow so when you have a good blood flow you will be having no blood pressure so you must perform sajda so as we are muslim so you must perform prayers five times a day okay now move towards our concept check students okay unit 1 the brain and nerves let me remind you again use the correct word to complete the sentences very easy we have checked we have, so we here they are going to check your concept level okay the nerves that transmit signals from brain to the muscle see again i am telling you that transmit transmit means they are motor neurons or motor nerves okay students so you have to write motor m o t o r motor means motors are the that nerves that transmit signals from brain to the muscles and glands okay after that the nerves that transmit signals from the sense organs to the brain see sense they are talking about sense so automatically it comes in your mind it's sensory s e n s o r y sensory nerves okay students after that students we have a very good exercise of fill in the blanks fill in the blanks to complete these sentences we have discussed earlier too but i'm going to tell you again here they are giving you some of the features which features of human body heart beat listening thinking balance movement breathing digesting and reading you have to complete cerebrum see cerebrum is directly related with your involuntary actions thinking reading listening that's in your involuntary action okay after that cerebellum cerebellum is directly related with your movements and balance that very obvious after that your medulla controls the heart beats memory and digestion digesting and digestion because that's your involuntary action that cannot be controlled by yourself okay students okay students now move to the page number second okay students a very you can say uh, good and it's all about your thinking okay think and write which area of the brain will be most active when you perform the following task and function actions okay means which part of your brain will be working we have talked about three of the parts okay what were they cerebellum cerebrum and medulla okay medulla brain stem okay so first is they have solved walking see when you are walking you are using your legs 
means you're uh, using two things you're using your bind coordination as well as your legs uh, to move okay so two parts are involved cerebellum and cerebrum okay cerebellum is for coordination movement and balance and cerebrum is your voluntary movement voluntary because walking is your voluntary movement okay students after that we have remembering to buy your friend a present of for, for his or her birthday means remembering they are re, uh, talking about remembering something so that is direct, re, directly related with your cerebrum because cerebrum is helps you in thinking and voluntary actions okay students then after that we have copying a picture see when you are copying means you are using your hands as well as your ability to think and seeing okay so that cerebellum is helping you to move hand muscles and cerebrum is helping you to think and see that so these both are involved means cerebellum for moving in moving hand muscles and cerebrum for thinking or seeing okay students after that understanding different words means you are understanding understanding is directly related with your thinking your reading and its voluntary action so you can write cerebrum because that is and in bracket you have to write that it's related with your thinking understanding means you're thinking and then understand it so then after reading and well it's your voluntary action okay students after that doing well in your tests see uh, you are doing well in your tests cerebrum you know what if you have a strong cerebrum you have a strongest memory and strongest remembering powers okay cerebrum mean in bracket you have to enables you to remember things means it helps you to rememberize the things and it's voluntary action okay students or voluntary movement controlling your tears when you are sad see when you are damn sad you are about to tears which part of the brain you are we be having so that you can uh, have feelings so for feelings most of obviously, obviously it's cerebrum because it controls your feelings and your decision because you are feeling and then you decide to cry okay so that feelings and decision is your cerebrum and it's voluntary movement or voluntary you can just write voluntary means it's your hand okay so under your will feeling bored and fed up see students cerebrum means your feelings this is your bored it's your feelings and fed up you're feeling bored from something that you want don't want to do it again so, okay like nowadays you people are bored at home but hopefully these lectures will be uh, very beneficial for you when you're enjoying them i'm hoping that you're learning a lot from them students so if you are feeling bored and fed up that's just your feelings and that's controlled by your cerebrum and that's your voluntary okay students now move towards next page student page number three concentrating on a particular subject see sometimes people love chemistry physics bio that's new terminologies but i want you to learn something new too okay so, see some of you like science a lot why that is your that you're concentrating on that particular subject and which part of the brain is involved cerebrum means you are remembering that subject and as well as you're understanding that subject okay and that's your uh, voluntary action you can also write with that voluntary action okay after that feeling pain see here we also have pain so pain in your elbow feeling is directly related with your cerebrum so you have to write cerebrum and in bracket you have to write feeling and it's your voluntary it means you're feeling sad pain that's your voluntary action talking to your friends see we are in cerebrum we are just talking about the feelings okay but in uh, talking to your friend you are using your precious tongue so cerebellum why because it is directly related with your movement of tongue so movement your muscles of the bone sorry tongue are moves moving so that's your voluntary action and you're talking to your friend with the by means of a tongue okay cuffing cuffing means you are uh, using you are um, ill sometimes and that cuffing is actually due to the uh, so you can say that maybe by due to the viral infection or something like that and cuffing is not your in your hand okay that is just in from your involuntary action means you cannot control it so that is from your medular brainstem and it's your involuntary okay but uh, students then after the blinking blinking is just your eye is opening closing that okay that is also blinking is sudden action or you can also say uh, say blinking is also a you uh, reflex section do you remember reflex section that was automatics okay so it's involuntary and that's it actually by your medulla or brainstem okay students after that students look here 
we have a small exercise think of other actions and make a list okay ask a fellow you can ask, if you don't have a fellow you can ask your mother you can ask your father you can ask your siblings to tell you which part of the brain are used at the same time you can work on the list It means see you have to sit with your sibling or you have to sit with your parents you have to sit with your brother e sister even so any okay or your, even your friend nearby your friend neighbor your neighbor friend see you have to write some activities and which part is controlling you have to write it over the area okay it's like running i have you uh, write first thing running running means you are running and that is controlled by your cerebellum okay why because it's your voluntary action so that's why it's controlled by your cerebellum after that missing school i'm very sure that you people are missing your schools why your people are missing because uh, you are uh, didn't saw your school for many days that feeling that is your feeling and that is directly related with your cerebrum okay and that's your voluntary action or voluntary movement okay students move to the next page students after that we have breathing fresh air breathing because some people call it breathing because some call it breathing both are okay okay fresh air you are taking fresh air see when you are uh, going you go to on a walk or you are going for a picnic at that time you are breathing in the fresh air and that is just because of your medulla or brain stem because that is giving commands and that is not voluntary it's involuntary totally okay students so it's involuntary after that dreaming while sleeping okay means dreaming while sleeping means you see you dreams while you are sleeping and that is also not in your under your control that is your medulla or brain stem because it's involuntary okay students after that we have a small activity interesting activity the brain hat okay the, this activity will be done when you will come back to school and inshallah we will be performing it in the school okay because right now you people have not this facility okay so when you will come to the school back inshallah inshallah we will be doing this activity okay students in this interesting activity the brain hat move to the next page students that is page number 5 okay see over here that is also a concept check see students first we have how does tongue detect different tastes okay very you can say easy question but you have to check your concepts they are talking about our tongue okay so you i have told you that taste buds are present or our tongue which are very sensitive to the chemicals we eat we, as a food so the signal so they just that uh, chemicals give a signal to our brain and we become able to detect that whether it is sour it is bitter it's umami etc okay so you have to write answer like this taste buds are present on tongue which are sensitive to chemicals in food so they signals to the brain and we become able to detect different tastes okay so students we get, you can write from here that taste buds are present on tongue which are very sensitive to the chemicals in food so they signals to the brain and we become able to detect different tastes okay students i hope you have be writing with me okay students very easy answer and you have to remember these concepts too okay students after that student we have another question what happened to the cells on the surface of the skin see we have checked about the skin what sort of skin so students means what happens to the cells on the surface of the skin the skin has different kinds of you i told you receptor cells which enables us to feel heat cold pain and touch by sending information to the brain okay so what happens to the cell to the surface of the skin you have to write the skin has thousands of receptor cells which enables us means which help you to help you or enable us to feel heat cold pain and touch by sending information to the brain okay skin has thousands of receptor cells which enables us to feel heat cold pain and touch by sending information to the brain okay students now move to the next page students see very interesting exercises they have given you how are you able to hear sounds 
very easy and you can say that was that is just checking your concepts okay and you have studied so you are be very that would be very easy for you that you have learned in the previous chapter and you are doing this sound vibrations pass on the inner ear nerves and send message to brain and we become able to hear sounds okay means sound vibration passed on to our inner ears okay nerves and then nerve sends message to the brain and we become able to hear sounds okay i have told you earlier to students that sound vibrations pass on the inner ear and uh, then it uh, by means of a specific or you can say a specific nerve it went to your brain and then we able to hear distinguish between the sounds so you have to write this answer okay students after that see over here very you can say uh, good and uh, beautiful diagram of the brain and you have just have to label it okay label the diagram and also write the function of each part of the brain okay first is name of the part see let me tell you very easy the upper part would be your cerebrum after that this part right before your brain stem it would be your cerebellum okay students this is your cerebellum and after that we have this and this is your medulla okay medulla or you can say medulla both are okay medulla or medulla both are okay it's okay after that we have this is your brain stem okay students at the in the textbook they have given you in collective okay but you can write over here that is your medulla and that's your brain stem okay and you can also write from that the functions that i have also written for you this is your cerebrum what is cerebrum doing controls our voluntary actions voluntary means it means that are under our control like thinking feelings decision okay it also help us to remember things means it is making our memory so you must have a strong cerebrum okay after that students we have medulla see over here name of the part is medulla what is its function it regulates breathing means it have its or you can say it's which kind of action it's involuntary action okay digesting and breathing of heart muscles okay beating sorry beating beating is that is actually uh, related with your heart muscles that is they are giving you a um, uh, you can say when your heart lapped up motion of your heart okay that is actually your beating okay so it regulates the breath breathing digesting and breathing of your heart muscles okay students after that <coughs> sorry name of the part is cerebellum function it controls the balance and movement of the muscles and joints see cerebellum is directly uh, controlling your balance and movements of muscles and joints it helps us to run walk etc okay students after that we have brain stem it receives what is its function it receives it process and adjust functions okay which functions that is related to your vision your sleep and your temperature etc okay means when you are sleeping that is performing your brain stem is actually doing performing these actions and you have to uh, means they are not under your control you are just sleeping and controlling by your brain automatically students we have completed from page number 1 to page number six okay students i hope you all will be doing this with me inshallah and in the next lecture inshallah we will be having our next uh, work from page number 7 till then you have to complete your page 6 and you have to also remember these all so that we can be doing after that exercises and you people can take more interest and i hope you all would be uh, enjoying your uh, these online lectures till then take care allah hafiz